What's up, people? We're back for game two of Sweet Light Guys versus Willow Keeper. Sorry, ready for a miracle. They're also Sweet Light Guys. They changed the name Diamond Sickle 10, and it's very confusing for me. Whatever. Berserker, Cersei, Wretched Hack, and Warbeast all bands out. banned out. Berserker ban might be a little weird for you, but it was used pretty well by Tree last game, so good strat from them. Ended up taking a win. Cersei, Hag, and Warbeast, nothing surprising there. Hag was also banned out in game one. So apparently Fitz Bulk and like that hero is a bit of an issue and does not want to face it. Cersei Warby's nothing surprising there. And they're going to ke keep a Tempest. I like it, I like it, I like it. <clears throat> Obviously lots of push, lots of ulti synergy there, and quite a bit of help for whoever they're going to be picking up. Man, this is going through fast. No extra time used so far. So Pessy will be on top of that, and Ray for Miracle is going a bit old school here. But with the uh, temper keep keep his temper, we don't see that very often. But pestilence, obviously, a very good, very strong addition to that. So plenty of damage here. Hopefully, they won't go for the carry pesty again, as I think that was a pretty serious issue with their lineup last time. Pestilence was just doesn't provide enough damage as a, as a number one carry hero. They also had Valkyrie, who for some reason went for Hellflower and Sheepstick build, which did not work. But once again, Hellboard picking up Engineer and Illumina in their first three picks. It worked pretty well for them last time. This time they will go for Kraken instead of Ravener, uh, who, who is not banned out, but apparently feeling like Kraken's a little more prob promising. Obviously the, re the release of the Kraken will help stop that Tempest ultimate. So a valuable team fighting uh, ability there on top of the energy field, which will also disrupt Tempest a little bit, especially if it gets dropped and he blinks into it, because he will be silenced. Nonetheless, I'm thinking uh, Legion over here, a little more powerful. Obviously the, tech, the second support strat going on once again for Willow Keeper and I'm generally not a big fan of that, but they made it work last game so clearly they're helping, hoping to do that again. And honestly I think uh, Keeper Tempest is really good. Ophelia Tempest might have even been better. That's often considered one of the most powerful combinations of the game. There's so much lockdown, very very strong pushing potential and Ophelia generally considered a slightly better jungler than uh, Tempest. but. No matter what CD is picked up here after the second banning stage by uh, Ready for a Miracle, he was banned out in the second banning stage of last game, so obviously a good ban from Fusion. Ophelia, Master of Arms, Sandwraith, Bubbles, Moon Queen, and Drunken Master are the second stage of bans, so Ophelia getting taken out, making sure that Hellborn can't pick up a jungler there, although Parasite's still available, but uh, the best jungler, really, or the only, the, the better one is still available as uh, Parasite. Still a strong jungler, of course, very strong hero, and played pretty well last game, but no surprise um, with the two supports I hear I don't think they're going to pick up the Parasite as apparently Beef is connected to this game so maybe he casted it I don't even know but I did game two, game one so screw it I'm doing game two and Beef and Swindler are here fine I don't even remember this being casted but regardless uh, they can come in and do it if they're so people um, anyway, bans for Legion, Sandwraith and Moonqueen on top of that, so removing the short laners here a little bit and getting CD on their own. That's very Silhouette. promising, good, to, well done for them. I don't know, I'm, for some reason I'm distracted all of a sudden. Master of Arms, Bubbles, and Drunken Master taking out by Hellborn, as of course Legion still is a support, so Master getting taken out for that reason. DM removed as, and Bubbles removed for... I don't think that makes a ton of sense. Bestie was running the short lane last game, so I guess they're figuring maybe they'll get another, they'll do that again, and then they'll need a, a mid player. But obviously, uh, Fitzbill over there on Ready for a Miracle not thinking the same, and instead choosing to go with the CD and run that pasty mid. So right now, Keeper Suicide, Tempest the Jungle, Pestilence, Mid Crump Disciple in the short lane, looking for a support hero here. Rhapsody's available, so is Torture. Both of those I think would be very strong options. And I would lean toward the Rhapsody there, as Rhapsody Pestilence, I think, is a really powerful lane. Plus, if you add the Rhapsody Dance with the Keeper Tempest, it just does so much. Um, so we'll see what they choose to go with their last pick here, but I, I'd like either of those two support heroes. Silhouette picked up by the Hellborn side, and we've seen them run this occasionally, Marcus Moy playing that Silhouette. I'm not the biggest fan. It has done well. It is going to be Glacius, so that's not bad. Uh, heavy many users here on, on Legion too, so his aura will be very helpful. I still don't really like him as a support hero because he doesn't have a stun. But earlier on that won't be that big an issue, an issue as Hammerstorm's the last pick. I do remember this now. 
Yeah, I remember this game. Now they cast that they just laughed at how Hammerstrom was was bad. But yeah, Hammerstrom not a great hero. So we'll see how he does this this game. Just has some issues with getting on people. He throws a stun, but it costs so much man. He doesn't he, and he does a bunch of damage with his ultimate, but he can't get he can't, he can't really effectively lock people down. And he doesn't even do that much damage either. Like he hits pretty damn hard, but uh, he, he needs people to stay in one place and attack him. They can't run away. So we'll see how this ends up for Hellborn, but I'm not really liking their last two picks. Single silhouette, a little too much single target damage. And in general, their team fight on Hellborn is going to be a little lacking, especially considering how much team fight Legion has. I mean, they have three ultimates there on their top three heroes that are extremely powerful and will do a ton to wreck this uh, this Hellborn team. Especially considering Hammerstorm as a strength hero is just not that tanky. Kraken's fairly tanky himself, but it's not like he's going to be able to eat all this damage. Silhouette, Aluna, and Engineer are just going to die. Um, so we'll see how well Legion can pull off these ulti combos, but if they do it with any semblance of ability, I think it's going to turn into really strong, really, really strong uh, and successful fights here for, uh, for the Legion. So they're using the Keeper Dogs here to scout out a little bit as we've got four heroes grouped up on Hellborn looking to do something in the Legion woods. We'll see if they run into each other. Dogs here will scout them out. Actually, they despawn right there, so... Word of Sight also getting placed, and Hellborn will get a pull ward off. Silhouette carrying a ward for some reason. I guess he'll just put a top up the rim. And they're going to do what they can to ward out the Legion jungle here. But with the Word of Sight spotting them, Legion will be, will be aware of what's happening. Actually, they're going to counter that. So, a bit of a lucky placement there. But, two camps will be blocked here, so Tempest going to have a bit of a struggle initially, as obviously the easy camp is the most important for him, so curious that they didn't choose to block that out. Engineer uh, going to body block this last hard camp. Not going to be that big a deal. And actually, Tempest is just going to instead choose to go to the Hellborn jungle. So, effective blocking here by the... By the Hellborn side in terms of, uh, you know, quality, like, this is, this is good, but Tempest is going to counter that by saying, fine, I'll go to there, I'll go to, to your jungle instead. And with the uh, aggressive dual lanes here, is it looks like it's going to be dual mid and dual bot. With no surprise, Legion lanes are, are pretty typical. Pesty Glacius middle, solo, uh, solo CD on bot, and Suicide Keeper with, with Tempest in the jungle. Nothing surprising there. Silhouette taking a ton of damage from this creep wave. Holy crap. Tempest should make his way over here because this could be a kill on Silhouette if he had. He has 60 health. So I don't know what that's about, but immediately I have to pop that health potion. And that's going to be a little bit of an issue for her. On bot, we have CD up against uh, Hammerstorm and Aluna, so Stun's coming out here, some pretty decent burst damage, but I don't think CD's going to die just because he's got the range advantage, and uh, he is reasonably fast, so if they try to jump him, he's just going to put the conduit up, and it's like, okay, you can lock me down for a bit, but you're not going to do any damage. In middle, we should have fairly even lanes here, I think slightly in favor of Legion, as Pesty Glacius is a much stronger lane. Not much stronger, but it is a stronger lane. Keg's done, going to hit Pesty there, but not a big deal. And the lockdown from, from the two of them should allow them to get kills, especially if they hit NG. Kraken's going to be a little more difficult with the charge and the general tankiness, but uh, we'll see. Up top, Suicide Keeper against the Silhouette. Keeper should be pretty alright up here. Has some pool regen and farm tangos, so has six tangos left. Silhouette has just three, so Relentless Salvo is going to be very important here. She's going to need to keep that harass up onto Keeper if she wants to stay in this lane, because Keeper can use his dogs, of course, to just do harass damage, you spawn the, the, the dogs, and you put them on her, and she just takes a bunch of damage. Tempest in the jungle, meanwhile, gonna get collapsed on here by NG and Syl, and now he's getting taunted, as he has no mana, and he's definitely dead. So Mark's my finding fit spell in the jungle there, and this is one of the issues with aggressive jungle Tempests, is that he's just, he's not great at getting away, he doesn't have a veil like Keeper would, he doesn't have Parasites infest, and since he's not the he the heavy ganker that Ophelia is, he doesn't get many of the benefits that uh, you would from being the aggressive jungle. You know, being able to gank that short laner, he will be able to come out and do that occasionally, but it's not going to be the most helpful thing in the world. And so I think he's going to go back to bleeding jungle at this point. Probably the right call.
recall, as the wards for the most part have expired. Orbit count, no, they just expired now. Small camp getting stacked here for, temp for, for Tempest, very nicely done. Glacius helping him out. Be able to split lots of minions, kill a vagabond, then bring him over to kill this uh, kill the small camp. So keep getting some lane control up top here. We'll be able to get some CS, and Marcus Wayne Silhouette's going to have some more a little bit of more of a difficult time with it. Keep putting Nature's Veil up, trying to get some health back, and of course taking trees. So does Sil, trying to keep her health topped off. Only two left though. On bot CD doing pretty solid here, 187 GPM. Not, okay, so not that solid. He is at uh, 12 and 2 compared to Hammerstorm at 19 and 7. So Hammerstorm out farming him, but not that surprising considering it's dual lane and he's just basically holding his own at this point. If he doesn't die and he gets enough CS to recover at the later game, when Asim opens up some farm for him, he'll be fine. As in middle, in ice imprisonment going off onto Kraken, and now Pessy is in a bit of trouble. We'll get the kill on Kraken first. Now he's not in trouble anymore, and Engie's in fact in trouble. If Impale's available, there it is. Kegstone actually pushes him away, so he's going to live. But getting the kill on the Kraken in the middle, very powerful, very positive. So seeding to lose lane control up here, but obviously Tempest in the jungle can be able to be helped out a bit. <laughs> Man, blocking camps again. So annoying. But Tempest going to be able to jungle somewhat effectively, 235 gold per minute. Not the worst, not the best, but not the worst. Uh, bot room going to be picked up here by uh, Pestilence. It is a refresh, as oh my god, somebody has a bottle. But multiple people have bottles. Hamstrom's got a bottle, Kraken's got a bottle, bottle, Pestilence has a bottle. It's like some sort of bottle wonderland here. This last game is very strange in that regard. Lake Valkyrie and Raven are getting bottles. Anyway, Tempest can get scattered out a bit by an Invis Engineer, but won't get jumped, not to surprise. Perhaps looking for a pick on a Corrupted more than anything, but the lane's all pushed up, so CD will know if they start running into the jungle for him that something's up. Hammerstorm are doing pretty well here on the farm, 320 gold per minute behind Silhouette, who's at 376, so gold lead a little bit in favor of Hellboard, but of course Tempest being able to farm a 250 GPM compared to the supports a pretty massive advantage for them, even though C and Keeper are getting relatively nothing. Or relatively little. In mid, we've got Catlamator 320 and, and Keeper, or sorry, Kraken at 220, so certainly the victory there for Pesty, as he's at 29 and 6, and Kraken's at 22 and 6, of course, that death not helping. Impel stun there, on to Kraken, gonna be a CD coming in from the side, charges Pesty with him will take the Ice Imprisonment as well, and now he's going to fall, so... But Pesty going to die for it, too. Man, taking a little too much tower damage there. As Engineer getting the credit for that. Hasa Glacius coming in, taking a bunch of tower damage. Getting a little too aggressive there. But it looks like this is going to be a transition here, as CD is going to head mid. And putting the Ice Imprisonment and the Electric Tower tied, plus the ultimate from Corrupted, onto Engineer, and he's definitely going to fall here. Corrupted will take a bunch of tower damage, just like his friend Pesty, but does not die like his friend Pesty. Activates the health bot and will be okay. Let's chug in some bottles charges. Keeper going to move into the jungle now, deciding to abandon the top lane, figuring he can do a better job of uh, getting CS in the jungle, and certainly that's probably the case. 225 gold per minute now, so decent enough farm for him. Everybody on Legion, over 200 GPM. And it's really Silhouette and Hammerstorm at this point that are carrying them through a bit. On bot, and it is not going to be transitioned. The CD's coming back to this lane. We'll pick up his steam boots. So Hammerstone's basically had free farm down here, 340 gold per minute. So well done from Hellward, winning both top and bot lanes. They did lose mid a little bit, but with the jungle, of course, uh, things were evened out a bit. Nature's Veil Keeper coming in from top again. Going to try to get some CS here. He is out of mana. in mid. Meanwhile, CD looking for a flank, and Engineer will spot him out. Bubbles, or sorry, 
bugs on Kraken. Three heroes, sorry, four heroes here now. As Tempest is bringing in the elemental, is looking for a mid tower push. This tower's got a little bit of damage on it already, so. And the eight minute push, of course, a Ballista will be coming in, so turret gonna come down, try to do some anti push. Keg will hit the elementals and the creep. And they're gonna take some damage. This is gonna be a mid tower kill. It's gonna be a question whether it's gonna be denied. Clip goes off. NG looking for the pick, but Pestilence is off to the side, trying to keep people off the tower, and they will not get the denied. Ice Imprisonment now going on to Kraken. Drops the release of Kraken on a three, in fact, but takes the impale stun. This is gonna be death on Kraken. Ziz falls in the meantime, so Glacier is down. Now Hammerstorm putting the stun and the ultimate on the Pestilence, but he's just gonna run away. Puts the impale stun in. Gonna actually get the pick on Engineer as well, so Masera gets a double tap. Power Throne now going to have to be able to finish off Pestilence, so... Pestilence having that flight, easily able to evade Hammerstorm. And ends up being a 2 for 1 in favor of the Legion, plus a Tower Kill. So that's going to vault them into a Golden Experience lead. Up top, Keeper getting some of his mana back with, uh, with a pot, using those... Uh, Trees to farm. So one tower now down in favor of the Legion. I would not be surprised if they start to group up and push and get some more. Certainly they have the potential for a Tempest heading bottom and they're pretty much gonna do exactly that it seems. Grabbing the creep wave here, and then gonna push through to the tower. Bot tower has taken essentially no damage. So this will be a bit of a harder push, especially because the creep wave is gonna be under the tower, so it's gonna be less easy. Tempest converting the archer there, no surprise, but the th throw gets down and, and the power throw, and all the Tempest elementals are going to die except for one, which has just about no health. So anti push here from Hellborn is reasonably strong with the power throw, and of course, NG stuff. I think. The hammer throw from Hammerstorm is not going to be the biggest deal when it comes to that, just because it does cost him such a large portion of his mana pool. <coughs> Up top, Pesty has the Invis Rune and the Flight Active looking for Silhouette here, but won't find her. Is he DD'd too? Yeah, DD'd Invis Pestilence. Port coming in top. In fact, two ports coming in top. Now, Silhouette going to come back to the lane. DD for 13 seconds. Uh, it's actually the entire Legion Hellborn team is here. Going to try to jump both of these Hellborn heroes. Root gets down on everybody. We'll put the Nature's Veil out. So Keeper should be okay. Ultimate going to get immediately canceled from Tempest. So he's going to go down here. And it's like, oh my god. Now Fusion falls in the meantime. Tempest finally dies to Silhouette's stuff. But there goes Hammerstorm as well. Engineer Ultimate getting put off in the background. But it's not going to stop the death on Silhouette. So that's going to be four for... One. Holy crap. Everything died really, really quickly. And this is going to turn into a top tower push from Legion as they all have four heroes up and Engineer Ener 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 is the only one alive for Hellborn. With the Keeper Dogs coming out, that's going to be lots of damage. Once again, would have preferred the Rhapsody. The Legion have destroyed a Hellborn tower. Place is a powerful hero and, and a strong laner, but uh, would have preferred the Rhapsody. Regardless, that's their second tier 1 tower kill. And we'll see, perhaps looking to push bottom as well. They were certainly having that idea earlier, but they got thwarted a little bit. They have Ballista now on their side. Uh, Tempest is said heading middle, and Keeper will just go back into the Hellworn jungle. Get some CS that way. Not enough for his Keeper minions yet, but should have it soon. Looking like he's going to pick up the Ring of Sorcery on top of the Ring of Teacher, so obviously Keeper having some mana problems, as he normally does, and doing what he can to address that. Tempest, meanwhile, has a Ring, oh, a ring of Sorcery of his own, so there's going to be a lot of mana available from the Legion side. Why are you picking Glacius, man? Why are you picking Glacius? All those Rings of Sorcery, and nobody's ever going to have any mana issues here. What's the point of having Glacius? I know, it's like you don't pick Glacius for the mana or anymore. That's the big thing, is... It just seems like if you're not going to do that, then pick somebody better. Witch Slayer. Pyromancer.
seems to me like Pyromancer is so much better as a hero. Like, if you're not going to go for the mana aura early on, then Pyromancer just brings so much more to the team. Because let's face it, the Pyromancer ult does more than the Glacius ult. The, ult. the Glacius ult has a higher potential for damage, but you're never going to be able to sit there and channel it while everybody's sitting in it for that long. Plus, the Thunder Blast does a fair bit, but the Phoenix Wave does more. As, yeah, 130 magic damage, and this is level 2, so it's not going to get to the 300 or whatever the Phoenix Wave gets. Dragon Flame going to get do more than Ice Imprisonment, which is level 3, and this does 70 magic damage per second for 2.5 seconds, so it's, um, what, 100 and... 75? Yeah. Push coming in from bot as we've got all the minions up, but the entire Hellborn team is here, except for Silhouette, actually stun going on a Tempest. And nice ult uh, nice there as uh, Glacier's gonna put down the ultimate, gonna try to do something, but he gets caught in the energy field and not gonna be able to do much. Root is still available from Keeper. And so is CD's ultimate going off as well. So that's gonna be backed off as the Hellborn pick off a kill on the Glacius and stop the tower push, but they did get some damage on it. And it's costing them a lot of resources here to defend these towers. <coughs> As they have to bring the entire team. And counter ward going down there will prevent the Legion's Ward of Rev from doing much. Pestilence off the side looking for something, but not going to find it. Can run right into crack and actually it's an illusion. What am I even looking at? I don't know, man. The real Pestilence is over here. Gonna be a bot push once again, as they're probably just gonna keep doing this until Legion or Hellborn are like, "All right, you can have the damn tower." Stun there onto the minions and the dogs, and everybody's just like, "Whatever." Power throw will help clean them up, but Pestilence has that portal key now. Jumps onto two, but no follow up. And actually, Pesty has a DD right here too. As these Tempest Elementals will split. Coming the creep wave once again. And this is going to be Dead Tower. With Fortification going off, we'll see if it's denied. I doubt it will. The and so over here, Tempest looking for an ultimate. Kraken going to charge in. Puts the Glacial Blast on a Kraken. Drops a loose Kraken. It's not going to be enough. He's going to die. So Pessy takes some damage from that. It's not going to be a huge deal, though. And Legion are going to continue the push here. So all of a sudden they have a 6,500 gold lead, 6,000 experience lead. They're just doing really well. Because, like, this is a, this is a well-executed strategy here. They figured out, okay, we're good at team fighting and pushing. We're just going to group up and do that. We've seen so many games where teams are like, we're good at team fighting and pushing. Let's sit in the jungle all day. And then they lose the game. And then they're like, well, why did we lose? Well, because you, your team had a strength and you didn't use it. Secondary tower here going to get pushed out and probably will die as all these minions just do way too much damage. Hellborn are like, all right. So that's four towers down now in 16 minutes and they can't do anything to stop this. Legion all grouped up, but like we have a keeper root, we have Glacius ultimate, we have a Tempest ultimate, and we have strong initiation from Pestilence. Plus Corrupted Disciple will do a ton of damage. Glacius actually get found out here, and now he's in a lot of trouble. We'll put the Ice Imprisonment onto uh, Luna. Puts the dust off, so he's visible. But he'll just run out. Nature's Veil goes on him. Of course, still visible because of the dust, but that will wear off in a couple of seconds. As we're looking for yet another push here in middle. Tempest has the Elementals. Going through. Here come the Keeper Dogs. And Electric Tide helping to clean stuff up. Obviously, with the Rings of Sorcery everywhere. Easy to spam stuff. Pestilence off the side looking for the jump, but actually Hammerstorm portal keys out himself. Turret going down and the power throw to try to stop stuff. Hammerstorm throwing things. They just keep they keep trying to stop this push and it's just not working. This is gonna be net another tower death. Over here, Pestilence jumping a couple, and engineers in a lot of trouble will drop immediately. Glacius ultimate on top of the Isenberg Prism it will fill will get the kill onto Hammerstorm, so he's dead. Mid tower now gonna fall as well. And Overseer Pesty looking for the jump on a Kraken, not going to happen. Now pushing the base. Marcus Moyne Silhouette's pushing top tower. He is going to get it. But he needs to get the hell back here because this base tower's dying. <laughs> and this is going to be a dead base tower in favor of Legion. So we're 18 minutes into this game. They're already taking base towers. 
And here come the Rax pushes. Counter push, counter push here, a little, little decent from uh, NG and Aluna, but not the best as... I mean, like, this is where we're at now. We're taking two to three towers at 18 minutes in the game because Legion are just like, what are you going to do about this? Portal key picked up by Tempest. And Hellborn are essentially back all the way into their base. As their entire team needs to be here. Pesty has the jump on a Kraken, but not going to follow it up. Hammerstorm actually does follow it up with a stun and a couple. But Astrolabe going to heal Glacius up. He takes a bunch of damage from Silhouette. But he will be mostly alright. And then on the side here, grab a health pot perhaps and come right back to the fight. And look at the GPMs too, like... Silhouette has, has a taunt, but everybody on Legion is doing so well because of all this tower gold. And the minions, the minions just never stop. Turret, now they're sieging the racks. And they can just, they can afford to just keep doing this. Just keep sending minions in, and they will eventually get the racks. And the rings of sorcery means that it's like, well, you're not going to do anything about this. You're just not. Sitting close enough so they can actually do building damage. Reward of Rev goes down there, but they can still see Keeper. Jump there onto two, and Tempest is looking for an ultimate. Puts the Glacial Blast down, gets stunned out by uh, Aluna there. And now I drop release on Tempest, and he's going to die. Looking for a jump also here onto Keeper as they're like, alright, now that's time to leave. Racks not, don't fall, of course, they'll just blow half. As Dust and Warriors of Rev are here to stop Keeper from being able to be visible. Pestilence with the stun on the two, trying to get Keeper out of there. Root goes out, and there's a death on Engineer. Engineer, uh, actually, Astro falls so fast on Glacius, but so does Kraken. Now Marcus Moy having to get out, and so does Hammerstorm, so we'll see if they can do anything about this. Now this is going to be a Rax kill because they have a couple deaths here. Silhouette looking to get out of here, not going to happen. And this is game, man. It's 20 minutes in, we already taken mid Rax. Stun getting thrown out, but the, ra the, the, the ranged racks are going to get cleared up as well. A Hellborn barracks has been destroyed. So, we're 20 minutes in, and down go the racks. I don't... I mean... There's one outer tower remaining for Hellborn. It's not taking any damage, but it's going to take about 10 seconds for Legion to be able to group up and push that. And I'm just like, what can you do against this? This is why you don't let people pick Tempest Keeper. Because those two heroes together will destroy your entire base, and you can't fight them, because if you go in, you'll get rooted and ulted by Tempest. So your options are essentially lose your base, or lose the fight, and then lose your base. Top tower now getting worked on. What, what did I say? Ten seconds or so for them to realize, oh, we can group up, push this, and take it? Yeah. That's about what it's taken here. A little longer because the group wave happened to be under the tower, but the another dead tower. tower. 500 GPM here for Corrupted. Anti-push coming out with a turret, so... I, again, they, they don't have, like, the worst anti-push heroes in the world either, but the power throw, the turret, the keg, it's a, it's a lot harder for Legion to do this than it might be otherwise. The Double Ballista Wave here, that's kind of nice. And the dogs are coming in on top of the Elementals. On over here, we're going to get a jump onto Hammerstorm. He's going to take a bunch of damage. Ice Imprisonment, and it's not going to stop much. Root there going on to just energy, energy and they're going to kill the field plus the turret. So that's going to be now a dead tower, as they've taken two Hellborn heroes, and they just can just freely push this at this point. So this is a dead tower. This should be a dead Rax. Jump here onto two. Silhouette and Kraken both getting hit. And we'll pop the Energizer trying to get away. They should both live here. True Grapple outside. Also helping. Tempest Ultimate going to catch three, in fact. So this is going to be at least one death. Silhouette pu pushes off the side, but Kraken falls. So does Sil and Fusion. So Macera, man. That's a GG. Okay, game. That's just a situation where you got outdrafted and outplayed. Legion side knew what they were doing with this raft, and they played it to perfection. They're just like, we have team fight and push, we're gonna do that. And that's what they did for about 10 to 15 minutes, pretty much here. They, they right after the landing phase, or really even into the end of it, they were just like, we're just gonna push this. 
and win. And that's what they did. So well played to them. That will give Game 2 to Ready for a Miracle. And now we're tied 1-1 one one going into Game 3, so that should be fun.